What's up, everybody? Welcome to the... Oh, why is there a... Oh, gosh. ...error window for me? Oh, God! What did it do? Let's close the program. Hopefully, we're still going. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the live stream for the munitions reveal! Woohoo! Yes, finally! You've been asking about it. You've been wanting to know all about it. This guy and his, his cohorts have been working really hard on it to make it awesome. And we're going to show you all that awesome today, right? That's right. All right, what's going on here? I've had a, we had a, a, a little gathering today to get ourselves psyched up for this live stream. Uh, and you can see right here, we took a group picture. This is pretty much everybody that had a, a hand in, in kind of making the uh, munitions power for you. And MEPS is in there too. That's right. <laughs> But we have Sung on the left. Going from left to right, we have Sung, Mark Hallish, a.k.a. Tunso, you know him as. Liz, uh, there you are, Spored. Um, I'm up in the back there. We have Christian, Mark Mackin, Mr. Meps, Alex, Leah, SJ, and Karen. These are all the various animators, special effects artists, uh, the designers, the uh, environment artists that help us actually get the weapons in, the producers. Your creative team, myself up there, the client engineer who helped get all this cool stuff going, our sound guy, everybody's in here. These guys are all sporting their Rambo uh, headband. It's a Rambo headband. It's not a Liu Kang headband. It's not a Deer Hunter headband, although kind of maybe looks Ryu like that. Ryu from Street Fighter? Uh, yeah, or Ryu from Street Fighter. Not him. Not him either, right? No. No. It's Rambo, people. Look it up. He had a headband. And we kind of used this... Uh, uh, the characters like that is our inspiration for munitions. You want to talk a little bit about how, like, when this first came up, like, how, what you guys were talking about and yeah, what we, you wanted to hit here? We wanted we wanted really large weapons that, that we don't have as weapon sets because instead of just running around, like, whenever you have a regular weapon, you use it constantly in, in every one of your attacks. But we wanted, like, really large, like, rocket launchers or, you know, big, huge chain guns or something. Right. Uh, something that you're not going to use all the time. And so that's kind of what each power is one of those large right. weapons. And we and, and it was definitely like kind of like late 80s early 90s yeah. action heroes, you know, the yeah. the kind of guys that were running around just kicking ass and uh, uh with guns yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, pretty much any gun if it shoots something you would be good at using it just like they were in those movies, mm -hmm. right? Um initially I think we were thinking like our inspirations for this were kind of like Sergeant Rocky, kind of yes. World War II. But as time went on, we kind of expanded it into characters like Arnold's character from like Eraser and things like that, where there's some near future weapons like particle guns and ray guns and beam weapons and things like that that mix in with the more right. kick ass, big conventional uh, stuff that we have. And so, yeah, so we kind of split those into there's more the conventional tree and then there's the more kind of futuristic -y tree. guts and glory. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the, the game here and get you in. We're just hanging out here and our guy with his army fatigues and um, Jesse is going to uh, spawn just some target dummies and we're yeah. going to demonstrate some things for you here. So first I'm just going to spawn a bunch of bunch, a bunch of, of dudes. Guys that are lower level than I am. Bunch uh, of bang dudes. Kind of show you what it looks like. Um, and it's kind of like pulling out 50 cals. Nice. Chain guns. Oh, I definitely can't oh. hear yet. Hold on. There we go. There Hold is, on. There we there go. Let's do that again. Whoa! Look at that. So, let's yeah. Let's try this again. Yeah. Okay. There's your big 50 cal. It's got explosive tip rounds. You know, not everything's going to be completely normal. <laughs> I love that thing. Now the barrel spins on it. Whoa! You got your just revealing the whole thing all oh, in yeah. one fell swoop. Yeah, Ability that, dump. Barrel. Look really at the spinning barrel and everything. Yeah. Awesome. Also, note that. While you're doing these, you can run around. Yeah, so, this, so it's mobile. Yeah, this is uh, going to be like ice or fire where you're you're mm -hmm. running and gunning, but for real. For I'm, real with a gun. Yeah. You're literally running and gunning. Yeah. Let me see that one you did again with the little banded, uh, the band of the ammo. Oh. Sorry, the ammo bit. Yeah, look at that. Awesome. So cool. So yeah. cool. Just kind of holding it out there. Love it. The the straight up Rambo move, right? Yeah, right? Like a lot of these poses that you're going to see here and the kind of weapons are the things that you probably saw when you were a kid uh, or maybe you're rewatching now if you are a kid with your dad who used to watch them when he was a kid. Right. Um, you know, of these great action movies from the late 80s, 90s. Um, really cool stuff. You know, very dramatic poses, ridiculous kind of camp as far as the action goes of like these big giant weapons and stuff like that. Cool stuff. Right. All right, so let's go each of these, through each of these abilities here. 
Okay, so we have. Let's just show them the tree here. We're in the guts tree right now. Yeah. Okay. Guts. So we got, you know, grenade you got launchers. The guts. That, but it's not just regular grenades. It's like two of them put together on a chain, so you get the control aspects mm -hmm. and stuff. A bolo grenade. Yes. <laughs> uh, you get. Uh, rocket, which actually gives you two powers. Yep. You can do rocket jumping, rocket retreat type stuff. Got mm. some shotguns, chain guns, mini guns, rocket launchers. Uh, you know, 50 cal, a mini nuke. Yeah, oh my goodness. And uh, uh, another because a shrapnel grenade launcher. A normal nuke would be just too much nuke. Right. We need a mini nuke to rein it in. Localized destruction. God only knows what you people would do with a full nuke. Um. But also, um, there's the buff in this tree mm -hmm. is called Killer Instincts. Nice. Let's see it. So, because it's important. What? You get the head man on. Yes. Dude. <laughs> and then that's part of the advanced mechanics. So <sighs> when you have that on, you're in DPS role, and you start doing all these abilities and hitting people with them. Get, yeah. you'll, you'll get power back, as you can see. Nice. Right. Yes. And you'll just keep that bandana roll. <laughs> And then it shreds off your head <laughs> once it goes away. <laughs> so, um, we can show them. It's very anime-ish, right? Where it comes out the back like that, and then it sort of shreds into the, the little petals or whatever. Um, oh, yeah. Especially, like, the it feels like very a, almost a little Naruto-ish with it coming off blossom. the back. Yeah. No, with the, with the starchy kind of oh. Oh, look where there. Yeah, where it's just kind of going back. Rawr, so you power up. You put on the bandana. You're ready for battle. <laughs> so something else to note about this the advanced mechanic deals with continually channeling these abilities or or the 50 cal and stuff and as you get closer you actually get higher damage output. more damage yeah. I love that rocket launcher you can you can continue to do it from ranged oh, lost my buff I took too long um, <laughs> just tearing this guy up so awesome but then when you get close yeah and the the rocket launcher, you know. Awesome! Look at that. Yeah, dude, let's show that. Go up, go up real close. It changes People, the watch the difference here. It totally changes the effects. It kind of goes. Yeah, stay a little closer so you can do it again. It kind of goes straight when you're close. He backs up to medium range, and it does this crazy high up thing. And get back here, and it's a little lower arc. You guys did awesome problem solving that, and figuring <laughs> out how you get. You and Mackin, good job. Yeah, that on that good stuff. Different than everything else. Yeah. But yeah, um, so a lot of a lot of this, you know, you'll be it'll be like ice or fire where you're vulnerable to interrupt while you're while you're doing yeah. all the channels and stuff. But if you're at ranged, you're getting one set of damage, and if you get into <clears throat> the the mid range advanced mechanic area, you're going to get even more damage. So mm -hmm. you know that whole risk and reward. So thing. one thing I see right now, I want to address. Somebody asked, "How will the headband work?" Yeah, but how does the headband work with bulky gear? Much like any kind of gear combinations in our game, there can be clipping. We have yes. put it a little bit out away from the head. It's kind of a gamey. It's not meant to be a full-on appearance item. But yeah, you have a big Atlantean helmet on or something like that. It'll clip. Speaking of, um, there that is the reason it kind of pulses right there, so that right. the pulse would still come. You can it. you can at least see that you have it on because it is important. Yeah. To yeah, you know that you have the buff. Right. Right. And then uh, this combat helmet was actually something we added to character create um, because it it's very similar to uh, one of the other styles we had. But the biker helmet with the spikes, right? Yeah, but it but it had spikes, right? Exactly. So we did combat. Look at that, people. Now because of munitions. You have in character create a military helmet, and you can purchase it off those vendors in the, in the right. Watch, watch if you if uh, you're past character it. create by quite a ways, you right. can still get it. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like around the helmet. Nice. Yeah, so it will it will work with certain p types of gear, but other types of giant demonic fantasy armor. Yep, it's gonna clip. It's gonna clip. But like he said, there's that ring, that buff, that aura. You'll be able to see that, no problem. For the mechanic, the purposes of uh, knowing the mechanics and where you are in the power, you'll be able to do that. But if you really care about the band being perfect, the headband being perfect, then take off your helmet because it's not a helmet band. It's a headband. Yeah. Um, and here's our first supercharge. It's called uh, Mounted Turret. Now, something very subtle right there ooh, ooh, that wait, people dude, might not have noticed. Wait, wait. Wait, stop. How, 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 how do I even phrase this? How, for so long, we would hear, it's just going to be gadgets. 
with a rifle, and we would okay. be like, no, no it's, big guns. it's gonna be so much more. Yeah. Look, look, look what this guy just said. Look what this guy just said. You're gonna love this. Where is he? Where are you? Stop moving, stream. I honestly thought it, Dave, Davis Classroom. I honestly thought it was gonna be a gadget with more guns, but this is amazing. All right, yay! Nice. <laughs> now people see. Awesome. Okay, I interrupted you. Please oh, go yeah. ahead. Well, go so ahead. The, the the very subtle thing that happened there. Let's see if I can do it again. Is yeah. As as the guys get KO'd, <laughs> the channel doesn't stop. It continues to a next target that's nearby. I don't know. I don't, I don't think anybody heard what you just said. I didn't. I was just <laughs> watching 30 people get hit by giant bullets. Well, the good thing about that, that was new tech we got mm -hmm. um, that we also went back and fixed up some ice and fire type mm -hmm. stuff. So anytime you started an ability and they got, the target got KO'd and you were doing this channel, it would Spread end. Them out right? and show them what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. Do like a bunch of groups. There you go. All right. Nice. So. And then and then you got this cool turret too. So after you kill them all, if yeah, you we'll show them. the turret. Look at that! Look at that! You can switch targets. That's so badass. So that happens, and it's awesome. Um, that happens. So yeah, let me let me show the turret. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Look at that! We put the little rockets on it. Initially, we had like this, you know, tripod, but it looked really bad. Um, when you were flying, yeah, or, we were flying or when you were on the edge. Yeah, we were hanging yeah. off the sidewalks and stuff. So we kind of like sort of, I don't know, near-futured that up a bit with some some rockets on the bottom. We're still in the uh, the guts tree, right? We're still in the guts tree. Guts! Um, no should... guts, no glory! Well, in this case, you can go all guts without the glory if you want to, I suppose. You could. Or glory without the guts. You could. Um... So we have a. Uh, let's see. Did I put? Yeah, rocket jump. Nice rocket jump, people! Woo just, right there, <laughs> what's different about this this jump is unlike other powers that we have, where where it moves you, right? You can sort of change how high you're going to go off of it based on if you jump first. Actually, so you're not doing a rocket jump. You're doing a jump rocket jump. Yeah, there's an extra jump in our rocket jump, people, well, which yeah. makes it one jump more awesome than a normal rocket jump. So you can actually get higher up uh, if you want to. And then um, there's rocket retreat, which is actually the the original power I was putting in here on purpose, which right. for like controllers to be able to damage and get away. Right. Kind of uh, kind of like quantum tunneling get, does their thing, right? Mm -hmm. About moving mm -hmm. you around. Um, and it gives you a little bit of damage absorption and stuff. Boom. So that was Rocket Retreat. So you can just get out of the big fire, whatever it was, right? Um, but then... Do Rocket Retreat, then Rocket Jump back to back. What? <laughs> now, that that won't be easy for players to do because these are attacks and they cost power. Right. So uh, You're, You've you got a special yeah, thing got on, special right? Yeah, special stuff going on. Um, then there's MRE, which is uh, your your kind of traditional self heal supercharge. You Do that toward the camera. There you go. No, I. Not <laughs> the rocket jump. Oh, you have to do that in order to get power. That's right. Nice. So MRE. Yeah. That's a power back, right? Oh uh, no, no no that one's actually heal. I just did oh, rocket jump. Oh sorry, because, gotcha. Because I wanted. To I knew that because of all the green lines. So then, there's this really good. Power for uh, if you're wanting to do weapon mastery. Mm -hmm. oh, somebody was just asking about that. Here comes your answer. Uh, you get this this uh... mini nuke, <laughs> right? So that's going to be your 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 ranged AOE that you're going to want to use for right whenever you're uh, doing weapon mastery. Okay. And then we have shrapnel grenade, which is another one of the uh, the, the ones that you can use during the advanced mechanic. And, now what's, and that's what's special that's about that one is that the, the AOE size is actually mm -hmm. larger than the others, which is why okay. it's at the, at the bottom of the tree. Can you, because it's, uh, you have a rifle equipped as your normal weapon. I do. So sometimes when you do the power away from the camera, you turn around and it looks like you just have this weapon. So let's make sure we always do them like, to, so you can see here, yeah. people, it ha does have each of these powers. Some of them share weapons. Right. Yeah. But like there are grenade launchers are still grenade launchers, right? You change right. The ammo. But yeah, exactly. But they, it isn't your rifle just shooting the grenade launcher. It is its own cool grenade launcher there. Yeah. Cool stuff. Uh, what else you got in here? Uh, I don't 
have any uh, anything else. <laughs> Mini nuke. Apparently you <laughs> you totally survived that point blank. That's right. If not, I'm good with if that. Not, you can <laughs> you can always you can eat your MRE. That's right. <laughs> uh, oh, we also have this one. This uh, shotgun. It's got a little bit of a combo on it. Let's get uh, let's get the chain grenade launcher. I haven't shown that yet. So, chain grenade launcher is, uh, is going to be your power over time, right? One of your first abilities. You hear the chains wrangling mm -hmm. around. Alex got nice yeah. chains in there. We it shoots really fast, but you can see the. <laughs> Fuck. There's like a oh, I see spinning, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Chain there. Choo! It's actually going to wrap those guys up, <laughs> or one of the guys, right? And then you'll have two grenades on them that explode. And you have a shotgun. Ah, Fucking. Yeah. Do your combo. Nice. So that's a combo, right? You yeah. you activate the power and then you're tapping square. Yep. Nice. Yeah, it's, it does squares. Does uh, more damage to uh, burning. Okay. Burning guys, which comes right after the chain grenade launcher. So munitions is a friend of fire. It is tanks because then is. you don't even have to do your burning stuff as the munitions yep. guy, right? Or yep. I should say fire or tanks are fire the tanks wouldn't have to because they could. Yeah, they, these guys could set them on fire. Sure. Um, or well, vice versa. Or vice but, versa. Yeah. Let's see if I still have that command in here. I assume your version is the more efficient way. <laughs> than a tank? No, I'm just saying that if, if, if the tank doesn't have to worry about it, I'm assuming you assume that that's the better scenario. Oh, sure. Of the, the munitions guy lighting him on fire rather than the munitions guy getting the benefit of the fire guy lighting him on fire. This is the systems guy. He designs the powers. He knows he knows the ins and outs. I'm gonna follow his lead. So we're um, we're in the glory tree now. Glory. Okay. So the, this is gonna be a little bit more of the stuff that controllers want to use. Okay. Also a little bit more of the futuristic weapons. Yeah. But there's a little bit of everything for the advanced control. munitions tech. Right, so you'll have like laser nets or like there's a there's another multi net which will net up more than mm -hmm. one person. The smoke grenade launcher is a really good controlling ability. Uh, particle guns. One just called Splosion. Nice. There are um, non-lethal measures in munitions, but yet they somehow seem lethal and awful. Well, yeah, the, the laser same. net. The well, laser, laser net, net will set you on fire. Right. The multi-net actually makes you vulnerable <laughs> uh, to the graviton charge stuff. which Non-lethal, uh, but quantum. horribly scarring. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, the power interactions. Like, this is the first time outside of quantum yeah. that we've used graviton charge. Right. Right, so it's like the, the high-density stuff. Uh, it's going to do that. Also, the rail guns. Okay. Uh, so, let's get that in here. There's also the uh, small package, which is the... Davis Classroom wants to know what the loadouts are or the stances are. So, munitions is a uh, controller cl uh, class so, or power. <laughs> it has a controller stance, and it has a damage stance. Yes. So let's, get some, let's get some of the guys that won't kill us here. Or won't die. So, oh. uh, Cody la 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 says. So this is using quantum and fire PIs. Correct. Yep. Whoa! This Good is, lord. This is particle gun. Nice. Now this one we uh, did a lot of work on. Let's let's show the barrel of this if you can kind of turn around and lose your target. Oh yeah, there you go. So. We went through a lot of iterations on this. It was looking kind of Jules Verne at first, but we really tightened it up and made it a lot more sci-fi to kind of feel, um, you know, Karen did a good job tweaking this out yeah. and making it feel really cool. So there's your there's your particle gun. Then we have rail guns. Nice. And you can't just have one. It, that's not how Arnold does it. No, that's not. Arnie wields two in a racer, so we had to have two. If we could have had three, like one mounted on your head, we would have. But it just didn't make sense. Those things look really cool. <laughs> they look really awesome. Get up close on those while you're shooting them. If you can. Target nice! Shot. Look at that. Yeah. So badass. I really like those. The sound. Alex did awesome on the sound on these. And they really feel like rail guns too, right? Because they have... The, the, I mean, you can see that the the particles coming from inside those tongs, like mm -hmm. it's being accelerated down right. that kind of space like between the two. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's getting flung. Awesome. Then we have uh, the multi net launcher, which is gonna <laughs> the net launcher. Net at multiple guys. <laughs> um, 
It's our... Look at that thing. It's so awesome. <laughs> Which, uh, uh... I don't know if you've seen Total Recall. Oh, of course. The, or, sorry, not not even Total Recall. It's the one before that. Running Man. Oh, yes. Uh, they they shoot one, yep. of, one of those around yep. when he's running. Um, he see. runs in Running Man? <laughs> That's he Really? He does. <laughs> Do you know he says I'll be back in that one too? He does. <laughs> he does say that. Yeah. Um, to the Family Feud guy. That's the weird part. I didn't realize that was him. Yeah, he's the host of the Family Feud, man. All right, let's is, talk about uh, this. <laughs> All right, so this is Splosion. It's a, a localized, like, PBAOE. Does it explode? Right? It looks it like does. it explodes to me. And then you shield yourself from your own damages. You yeah. aren't, you're not actually getting shielded from everybody else because but the shield has to be able to stop your right. own explosion. And it's so, it's like that, you know, it's really fast. Mm -hmm. And then we have Smoke Grenade Launcher. You know what's funny is that I remember when we were talking about this, I, I gave the feedback that it felt weird to me to be throwing this grenade at your feet mm -hmm. and then sort of having it blow up, but why are you... That seems like a silly tactic, right? And I thought it was very important at the time, but now, dur but during this very presentation in Unveil, when you launched a nuke down on top of your own head, somehow that feedback seems insignificant. <laughs> But I like it anyway, because it led Nor to a cool-looking power. Normally, you'll be mean nuking people from a distance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Normally. Um, but you don't have to. And this one is the small package. Oh, looks like we still got a little thing to fix there, but... Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, there's a couple things that uh, we're still working on effects-wise, and uh, I got to fix this mesh up so that, that it lines up to the little... Show the gun, though, anyway. The, the, the particle will come out of the little tip there. Yeah. My disintegrator gun. That's actually the, uh, <laughs> the what we call the execute, or the if they're below 35%, it, it's going to do more damage. So this is uh, basically we base these powers on 80s and 90s action heroes and Marvin the Martian and Duck Dodgers on this particular. Yeah, actually, one. this one kind of took. <laughs> yeah, it's got it's got that part of it, and then it kind of started out with kind of the the little men in black thing, right? There. Yeah, that the little, the noisy cricket. But then I think this is cooler sounding. Yes. Boom. Um, so let's see what else we got in the glory. Glory. Tree. What didn't I do here? Laser nets. Reload. And uh, Maps is around, right? Uh, he he is. Yes. Hold on. Hello. Hi, Maps. Hi, Maps. Uh, oh, in, okay. in order for us to show off the the reload effects, I'll need to group with you. I'll be right there. Flag cannon. Okay. He's got to get in his map. Nightfalls okay. says sort of like a modern Sergeant Rock. You got it, Nightfalls. In fact, the two um, character create inspirations, one is Sergeant Rock, and the villain guy we chose, do you... Actually, we should show them at the end. Uh, yeah, it's Detonator. Yeah, Detonator. Um, so we, we looked for somebody that was kind of Sergeant Rock equivalent. Um, it used a lot of powers like that, so Detonator's the other one. Look him up if you're not familiar. We do a pretty good job of approximating his costume, I think, in character create. We should show character create after this. Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Oh, there's maps. All right, we're. All right, maps. Uh, use up a, a couple of tray power, so you so you need some power. And then I'll use reload. And then, oh man, with all these sorcery effects on you now, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Here, I'll I'll uh. Kill You'll see, like it kind of makes this like. It's 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 called reload, yeah. right? And it definitely is kind of a how did we do a you know controller kind of action here? It is rearming and reloading you, and it's a very gamey kind of effect here with bullets kind of going into a gun that you have and surrounding the other people in the group to give this kind of feeling that you're giving them more ammunition to kind of keep going. So it's definitely a very you know I think gamey interpretation yeah. of how to do this. But honestly, sure. anything else was looking really horrible. <laughs> I yeah. think at first, what were we dropping? Like, well, we, pooping yeah, we, ammo crates we, down? Yeah, we, we had talked about it. And, and it was just uh, going to be weird in all ways. Um, yeah. The one thing about this... In one, all ways. Always. I like... Because it, it would follow you and turn... It, yeah. It was weird. Um, These bullets are a little big, by the way. They're, they'll, they'll be the size of this other one. Yeah. The, uh, the bullets you see going into the shotgun are large for some reason right now. We're working on it. The bullets it you see around the character, Mephs' character, are going to be the size of the ones going into the shotgun. So we will fix that. All right. But, but you'll be seeing people do this all the time. And when they're controlling, they'll be reloading, giving everybody power. Um, 
So we have survival here, which is, uh, if anybody's played gadgets, uh, it is sort of like distract, or um, it's like a halfway between that and any of the advanced mechanic things that give you the buff. Because in, in DPS role, we'll, we give you the Eye of the Tiger buff. By the way, <laughs> I don't know. We didn't actually say that. Did we? Mm. The, the buff is called Eye of the Tiger. Uh, Black Lake Frost says, and I want to address this really quick. He says, lol, why would my Supreme Quantum Destroyer require ammo? Well, why would any character require, you know, a nature guy require quantum energy? Or why would a nature guy require... How does gadgets guys give power? They it's it's yeah. all fictional. You know, yeah, you defibrillate. Are you dead when you don't have power? It's all just fictional stuff. It's, you know, kind of... No, there's a lot of things in the game that don't, like, match up to make perfect sense when it comes to power combinations and things like that. They just don't. Why am I a rifle sorcery guy? You know, I mean, it just kind of is what it is. Have fun with it. Embrace it. Um, you know, uh... Yeah, th th this is one, like you said, one of the game year yep. uh, sets, but sure, that's kind of what makes it awesome. Run around with bandanas on you. Um, we also have flat cannon right here, so it's a uh, it's another one that you probably want to use uh, with web mastery because it's mm -hmm. it's going to set things on fire uh, from distance and it's pretty quick. Let's see if I can get a shot of it. Is the power might based or precision based? This is might based. Might based. Yeah. Does it have shields? Uh, oh. Okay. So <laughs> we we have a, the supercharged shield, which is what I was about to show. Uh, Somebody asked about that. So here we go. Let's go get in the mix here. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna take off this ring. First. So every time these guys hit you, it's going to deflect it off. I love that, by the way. It actually does have this sense. It, when you are impacted, the shield reacts. Yeah. This is called active protection system. Yep. Which is based off a real thing. Real thing. And if you've never heard of it, look up a video about it and watch what this thing does to like protect the side of like a Jeep or a tank or something like that. It's incredible. This is our sort of interpretation of it in sort of more of a near future energy-based version. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think this came together pretty well. I, I really like what Mark put in on the effects. All right, so the last one here uh, that we haven't shown is called Biggin or Big Gun, either way, either, mm -hmm. however you want to say it. Um, and it is a big gun. It is a big gun. It, uh, it's 50% supercharge. It's going to graviton charge, guys, but um, it just shoots out a massive bolt. And then there's this last part here that says some low rank enemies will be completely obliterated. Just that last bit. Don't forget. It's it's not that important. So playing complete obliteration. Yes. Uh, if there's a lot of guys, it's still gonna like this. Is yeah. this considered a lot? This is a lot. Okay. This is probably too many. Um, <laughs> boom! Right? What? You get your normal supercharge hits twenty guys kind of thing, right? Um, but there's a lot there, so it's going to split up that damage. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Maybe kill some dudes. So. Oh, all right. Let me get off cooldown here. Put on some. I like the sounds on the net gun. I know. Alex did a very good job on the sound. You can see the net as it opens as it flies away from you. It's awesome. Um, okay. So see these three little guys over mm -hmm. here. Right? It's the same guys that were over there a second ago. Obliteration! Goodbye. Oh, and they were stunned, by the way. They were stunned. Well, for stunned that into long. obliteration. That's right. <laughs> so that that is uh, Biggin. Biggin. That's the way I like to say it. Biggin. Big particle gun. Yeah. Right? Big yeah. giant energy weapon. Do it against the, the huge clump to the left there. Yeah. This, this group? Yeah. Okay. Boom! Ooh, that's satisfying. And then they're all set up Good for you. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Good stuff. Have we missed anything? I don't think so. I don't think, I don't think so. Uh, showed smokes and multis. Yeah, I think we're, we covered flat cannons. all this stuff. Um, I can 
what I can do though is reset and kind of just like run around these <laughs> these guys that have a lot of health to do mm -hmm. the advanced mechanic. Okay, so sure. Kind of see the damage. Why don't we have you do that while Meps um, throws us some questions? If I didn't already steal them all from you. Yeah. So some people are asking about shields and group shields, and just kind of recap of how that works. Okay. Okay. That that um, group shield there was a supercharge. It's the it's the one that gives power back, kind of like um, you'd see in light or mental or quantum. Uh, there's not a personal shield in this. What you can do for um, damage prevention is you can use rocket retreat. You can also use um, survival, uh, which both of those will give it to you. And then <coughs> if if you just happen to be using the um, mounted turret. It gives you 50% while you're while you're using it, because uh, it's got those blast shields in the front, right? What else, Maps? Uh, so, how will this be released, or what's the cost? Well, it's going to be released on the marketplace. Uh, if you haven't seen our recent um, uh, thread or announcement about our marketplace changes and how we're releasing our content going forward, do go check it out. It's in the announcement sections on the forum. Uh, and it's going to cost uh, as much as just the other powers on there. So it will be $6.00 worth of whatever currency it uh, it is that you do your purchasing with on your various platforms. Uh, so six bucks. Six and bucks. if you're a member? If you're a member, you get it for free. You get access to munitions um, as long as you're a member. Um, so yeah, no change for members. You'll be getting this just like you would if it was part of a normal DLC package of the past. And just to get out of the way, People are also asking about when it's going to be released. We do not have a date on this right now that we are announcing today. So I am sorry to to say that. We're here, here to unveil the power and show you where it's at. Um, we hope to have it up on PC test soon. We do have approval from DC on the power at this point, which is great. And now it's just a matter of figuring out when we're going to get it on PC test. Um, and we will let you know the second we are prepared to do that, and that that should be really, really soon, right, Meps? Yeah, as soon as we can, really. Yeah, as soon as we can, literally. <clears throat> and that is just just a a logistics thing about builds and stuff like that. So we'll we'll let you know. And so people are also asking about seeing the advanced mechanic more, and also seeing yeah. some of the controller, um, crowd control stuns, that kind of thing, while in controller role. Okay. Maybe okay. do that afterwards. Okay. Sure. Yeah, uh, so this is, I, I ran through like what, what a kind of loadout would be mm -hmm. with the advanced mechanic, but then didn't use the bandana, okay. the, the headband stuff. So then uh, ran out of power really quickly. So then I started doing the thing, but then I also put on the, I, also, I guess I also put on the ring, but this is kind of what, how you'd be rolling it. I did see someone asking about how, how if this, has a lot of clipping potential in it to quote unquote keep up with the other powers. So uh, you're not going to be clipping these because you're cha they're channeled, right. right? It's the channeled stuff. Um, but you're going to be able to run with it. Mm -hmm. You can do that. Um, but yeah, there won't be clipping. Now, what you can do, explosion <coughs> is a part of the advanced mechanic as well, and it is an instant power. So you could clip that one. Right. So there is that uh, choice. What else you got, Maps? You are we want to run through the controller things first, or the in controller stance? They want to see some stuns and sure. control. They want to see that and the and the advanced mechanic. <laughs> I guess they just saw the advanced mechanic. Yes, I was okay. just I'll pick one. He was seats. doing the rotation and and all got of it. that. Yeah, let's let's see the the controller roll then. Okay. Some of the uh, I should probably reset. Ebenezer wants to know: Will those bandanas be sold on the DCO website? <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, are you asking about our bandanas on our physical heads here or the bandana in the game? You can auction them off. <laughs> yeah, that would be good. We'll auction off these bandanas for charity. We can each sign the ones we were wearing. Or you can sniff them and guess, you know, who had which one on their <laughs> head. Yeah. I don't know about that. Why not? We, I'm sure we all use different shampoos and people would have different impressions of what our shaggy heads smell like. Your speechless maps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Trying to think. Oh, that's what it was. Trying 
trying to put together the loadout I was using the other day when I was playing. Um, Somebody's asking, what happened to Blue Lantern? I don't know. What happened to Blue Lantern? Did anybody tell you something about Blue Lantern? I know we certainly didn't. Is there something about Blue Lantern? The people are like, what happened to Blue Lantern power? I don't know. I don't know what Blue Lantern power you're talking about. We can clarify, though, and say we are working on three powers, munitions. Yep. Munitions. It's just one, obviously. Which is imminently releasing um, in, in, the, in the next one, I should say, is releasing. And then we have, in no particular order... An atomic-themed power, which is kind of going to be a reverse firestorm kind of theme. And we also have a um, uh, experimental serums, which is going to be kind of based on characters like Our Man and Bane and stuff like that. Whichever one you want to really get uh, get behind as far as imbibing certain serums and using chemistry to boost your power level. That'll be a tank. The atomic is going to be healing-based. So here goes uh, smoke grenade and, and uh, control roll. Okay, is one of the, the better stuns. Okay, you can do. It's also a debuff. You can see it mm -hmm. at the top. Yeah. Um, of course, let. <laughs> uh, that's a good way to stun somebody. Net and um, one of the things I like to do is flat cannon them even in control, mm -hmm. uh, and then if you have rocket retreat on, nice. It'll do, it'll do more as well. Um, so you do like flat cannon more point blank and then use rocket tree to get out? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I was running, we were running through some stuff and I'd like laser net whichever single guy I wanted mm -hmm. kind of down. And I'd, I'd like if there were ads or something, I'd be smoking sure. in the ads. And I'd set everybody on fire because these other things can do more damage to them when they're on fire. And of course, you got, you're you going to have reload on your bar. Um, and you might have, you might have survival just to get you know, protection and stuff um nice to... weapon mastery oh uh, weapon mastery yeah Let's see if i do i have i do okay um some of these others uh do the longer stuns as well that uh smoke grenade did there but it, it's probably the best one Strong, strong, what is it? Strongest soul. So many lockboxes. I'm not getting anything. Uh, we're, yeah. we're on an internal server, and we have it cranked up so lockboxes drop like every few seconds. So that when we need to smoke test things, we can make and everything's working, that the lockboxes just fly out. Yeah. <laughs> this is not on live. So you'll probably want stuff like mini nuke or or a flat cannon for weapon pork mystery. bun can you use reload to clip all the debuffs reload to clip the, the debuffs mm -hmm. sure sure uh except for two of them because they're channels oh and somebody is writing to me in cyrillic i uh, i do not the heal debuffs the heal debuffs too you won't okay. be able to oh you won't be able to no. okay so yeah Like that, or um, this is my my fa my favorite one to do in, in rifle. Oh, I missed it. Keep missing it. <laughs> but do it. They want to see it. Do it till you get it. Nice. So that's what you There it doing. was. All right, you asked for it. You saw it, people. Nice. Uh, oh, the nuke. Really, you'll, you'll, <laughs> you'll be doing kind of those, right? Because the mini nuke's going to do more damage to dudes on fire. So you'll right. flat cannon them and then mini nuke them and continue in with your, with your webmaster. Cool. So. All right, any other questions we haven't already hit? One, what, one more person asking for a recap on just what's the power over time power, what's the power dump power, that kind of thing. Okay. We just hit those one um, more time. Yeah. So the, the two power over time powers were the uh, the chain grenade launcher. Okay. And laser net. And then your power return is reload. 
So, this was one of them. Alright, that, that one actually hits more, more guys. The uh, laser net's actually a single target, so you have your choice of which kind of thing you want to do uh, when you're controlling. If you want to hit one guy so you're not knocking a bunch of dudes away from the tank that may not want you to do that, or if it's something that doesn't matter and you can get a little bit more damage by hitting more guys. Cool. Anything else, maps, or are we good? Good. Boom. We're good? Yep. Okay. Thank you so much for um, watching the munitions reveal here. Um, we really appreciate you tuning in. Uh, great job to the entire DCUO dev team that was involved in the creation of mission or uh, munitions here, uh, especially to you, Sport, for leading the charge and really coming up with the vision of this thing from a design perspective. Um, you know, I think you've done a wonderful job with this power and. Congratulations on getting it all the way almost to the finish line. Oh, yep. There we are. Bam. There we are. Woohoo! We got the red headband. That's right. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank we you. really appreciate it. And we will see you next time um, on the uh, – am I just doing outro here, Meps? Yeah, take us out. Okay. No, I mean the actual outro. No, no, no. Just, oh, just, just, no. just what? Kill what do it. I click to get away? Just kill it? Yeah. Just kill it? All right. See ya. Goodbye.